do you even know why you believe what you do? Do you even think, and I don't, I'm not attacking, I'm just saying, like, am I the only one that, that goes like that? Am I the only one that thinks, so why have I, why do I believe this? And that's what comes to me, like, either these beliefs are being implanted in me through some other method, like some kind of conspiracy, you know, implanting people, or generational brainwashing, which I think is, you know, the case for most of us, um, the society, culture, and our generations that have caused us to have the beliefs that we do. But also it could be that how else do you get past this this dark box that you're in you 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 do end up taking um some kind of new perspective to get out of it is it whether it's whether it's truth or not if it gets you out of the box to keep living rather than decide to die which is you know a lot of people commit suicide out there a lot of people choose death over trying to find a new perspective out of the box but that there are people so stubborn in their beliefs that they decide to stay in this perspective that doesn't serve them therefore end up choose taking a path like that I wouldn't say that that's the cause of suicide I'm just saying that if um, if people do not change their perspectives of their reality to get them out of this the place the the challenges that the life throws at them then how else do they get out of it and I call that growing and evolving because it's better than thinking oh we're making up you know fairy tales to get out of darkness because if I thought that at the time that I was going through the shit that I was going through then I probably would have stayed in my little box but in hindsight now when I reflect on why I believe the way that I do now, I think maybe it's a possibility that it's not um, truth, but that it did serve me to get out of the darkness. I don't want to say that anyone else's beliefs are wrong if it serves them and if and it's not harming anybody. I think that that we are where we're at. We're all different. We're all unique. So the nutshell version from my current perspective, which helped me, is that nothing is an accident and that we're all here as part of that one consciousness and that the ego is being used to separate us into separate identities so that we can explore, experience, learn and grow. That got me through trauma. Um, thinking that the greater perspective beyond this life is a, you know, if that is the truth, is a thirst for creation and exploration and understanding all perspectives of being human, experiencing different things. I wonder what that's like. I wonder what it's like to be a rock. I wonder what it's like to be in an abusive family. I wonder what it's like to have four legs. I wonder what it's like to be blind. I wonder what it's like to be deaf. Our consciousness has curiosity and that we're all drops from the same ocean. And even if that is just absolute hooey, I really like it um, because it means there's no such thing as we don't need to live in a world where we see racism as reality and we you know, judge the differences in everyone <laughs> Because at, it is, for one, okay, my, my, my thinking on this is insane anyway, but isn't it more insane that we judge everyone when everyone's different and the people that are all the same are faking being the same? Like no one actually thinks the same as everybody else. No one actually looks the same as everybody else. No one actually is having the same experience as everybody else, yet we're all trying to fake this, this, normality because it's completely fake but the way that the way that my perspective serves me is that it 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 appreciates and loves everyone for who they are it um 
accepts everyone for who they are. And I I watched a great documentary last week. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, One Giant Leap, I think it was called. In it, there was a guy that was talking about race, and he was saying, you know, there's brown, there's black, there's white, and he's black. And um, his, his view was that we're all flowers from the same garden, and I thought that was just beautiful. All flowers from the same garden, actually appreciating the fact that our uniqueness is all part of this one thing. And that the only, you know, separateness we have is this unique desire to have these separate experiences in order to really explore. And if that is really true, if it's true, that once you can see us all as one, it changes your perspective on everything. It accepts people for who they are. It changes the game. It moves you to a new level in this game. And this feels right for me. But... Did I just take it on because it makes my life better? You know, than what the truth might be. Uh, I'm I'm thinking that it doesn't matter what I believe, what you believe, what anyone believes, as long as we're not harming others. And it also explains why people do harm others. And maybe may be part of that experience. You know, I want to know what it's like to be harmed. I want to know what it's like to harm someone. You know prior to coming in, which is where, you know, Jimmy's conversation on reincarnation and stuff come in. Is that a possibility? But anyway, while I was going through the shit that I was going through, when I clicked on to that nothing is a mistake, that no, none of this is an accident, that we choose this experience to experience, and that we can consciously, once we know that, consciously choose to create a different experience, like the next experience, if we don't like the way things are going, like, okay, experience that, learn from that, this is what I learned from that, here you go, this is what I learned from that, now we can evolve beyond what we think was done to us and embrace the experience that was done to us and use it to transform our lives. And I don't think that it's a bad belief to have, I just don't know if it's right. Yeah, like... It serves me, but it's not necessarily what's really going on. Because, like I've said, pretty much every video, we're ants. We don't know, we can't see beyond our current perspective anyway. And this is beyond our current perspective, but it's not beyond our current perspective. We're so minuscule, we're just a little cell in our body, we're just so tiny, we can't possibly see what reality is. I love this thought because it, it's great to explore and gives people who are going through major trauma a reason to live, a reason to go on, a divine purpose. And I, I do wonder if it's just a thought that depressed people get, you know, to move them past their depression. It does seem like a lot of spiritual people out there started off in a fucked up traumatic place. They had their awakening after being, you know, up against a wall where they cannot get past. And then a shift happened and they saw life in a different way. And that is why I'm constantly questioning my own beliefs. I'm not really fixated on certain beliefs. And I know that people don't get that because they want to kind of understand and put you in a little box and go, she gets, you know, she's this, there, here's that. That kind of thing. I don't. I don't work that way. I I I have seen. I have experienced many different beliefs as I was going growing up. I haven't like latched onto something and gone. This I'm going to make my truth forever, because I'm always thinking we don't know what we don't know. There's always something more that we don't know from our perspective. So I don't. Yeah, get fixated on that. We're just ants. We can't see the big picture. And when the the biggest picture that I see when I look, you know, and I keep doing this in other videos, the biggest picture that I see when I look down and I see humans fighting other humans, that seems ridiculous to me. I, I don't think we humans should be fighting each other. I think we've fucked it up along the way when we're trying to have these experiences that we... We got caught up in this system. But I am, you know, am I just creating these beliefs to get me out of the darkness? Probably, I don't know.
but does it serve me? Does it create a better life for me? Yes. And yet I'm still a truth seeker, as in once I empty myself here, tomorrow I'll wake up because I've emptied that. New truths will come in, new insights, new perspectives, things that sometimes, like I have this many beliefs at the same time and they all go a different direction in me. <laughs> I think they call it um, schizophrenic. <laughs> no, I don't know. But there, you know, there's so many different things that I take on that you can't gel together, or at least my mind can't get around how I can believe this and this at the same time when they mean different things, when they go different directions. Yet when I see as all as one, they all encompass them into that picture. So that's maybe a way that I try and you know put the puzzle together.